Amphibians are a group of animals that constitute a significant evolutionary step between land-dwelling mammals and reptiles and fish that live in water. They are some of the most intriguing and quickly vanishing creatures on the planet. Contrary to most animals, amphibians, such toads, frogs, newts, and salamanders transition from marine to land-based lives during the first few days of life, finishing up much of their final development as an organism after birth. What else about this species makes it so fascinating? Hello everyone. Welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. 10 Facts About Amphibians 1. Amphibians can be divided into three major types. Frogs and toads, salamanders and newts, and the odd, worm-like, limbless vertebrates known as caecilians are the three primary families into which naturalists split amphibians. Around the world, there are currently roughly 6,000 different species of frogs and toads, but about a tenth as many newts, salamanders, and even fewer caecilians. The term amphibian refers to all living creatures with smooth skin. However, there are two long extinct amphibian groups, the Lepospondyls and Temnospondyls, some of which reached incredible sizes in the latter Paleozoic era. Two, many change via metamorphosis. The majority of amphibians are born from eggs that are placed in water and momentarily live a fully marine lifestyle, complete with external gills, and keeping with their evolutionary position as intermediate between fish and fully terrestrial vertebrates. Then, after undergoing a metamorphosis, these larvae lose their tails, remove their gills, grow strong legs, and eventually acquire primitive lungs, allowing them to climb up onto dry land. Tadpoles of frogs are the most well-known larval stage, but same metamorphic process also happens, a little less dramatically, in newts, salamanders, and caecilians. Three, amphibians need to be close to water. The word amphibian, which comes from the Greek for two forms of life, very much covers up what makes these animals unique. They must deposit their eggs in the water, and they must have a constant supply of moisture to survive. To put it a little more simply, amphibians are situated in the middle of the evolutionary tree, between fish, which are exclusively marine, and reptiles and mammals, which are exclusively terrestrial and lay their eggs on land or give birth to live young. Amphibians can be found in a wide range of habitats, such as streams, bogs, swamps, woodlands, meadows, and rainforests that are close to or in wet or damp environments. Four, their skin is permeable. Due in part to their thin, water-permeable skin, amphibians must remain in or close to bodies of water. If they strayed too far afield, they would literally dry up and perish. Amphibians constantly secrete mucus to keep their skin moisturized, thus the reputation of frogs and salamanders as slimy creatures, and their dermis is also dotted with glands that release toxic compounds to frighten away predators. While these toxins are hardly visible in the majority of species, some frogs are deadly enough to kill an adult person. Five, they are related to lobster fish. A lobe-finned fish braved dry ground at some point during the Devonian period, around 400 million years ago, not just one individual once, as is frequently shown in cartoons, but many individuals on many occasions, only one of which went on to create descendants that are still alive today. 
With their four limbs and five toes, these prehistoric tetrapods provided the blueprint for later vertebrate evolution. Over the next few million years, different populations went on to give rise to the first primitive amphibians, including Eucrita and Crassigerinus. Six amphibians presided over the earth millions of years ago amphibians dominated the terrestrial animal kingdom on earth for roughly 100 million years from the beginning of the carboniferous period around 350 million years ago to the end of the permian period about 250 million years ago then they were eclipsed by several groups of reptiles that originated from small populations of amphibians such as the therapsids and archosaurs which later gave rise to dinosaurs which eventually evolved into mammals the large-headed Ariops, a typical Temnospondyl amphibian, was about 6 feet, 2 meters, long from head to tail and weighed around 200 pounds, 90 kilograms. 7. They take whole prey with them. Amphibians lack the capacity to chew their food, unlike reptiles and mammals, and they also have poor dental hygiene, having only a few simple vomerang teeth in the front upper section of their jaws, which allow them to grasp writhing prey. However, most amphibians also have long, sticky tongues that they flick out quickly to capture their meals, partially making up for this shortcoming. Some species also engage in inertial feeding, awkwardly jerking their heads forward in order to gradually push prey toward the back of their mouths. 8. Their lungs are quite primitive. The effectiveness of a species' lungs plays a significant role in the evolution of vertebrates, also known as alveolus and alveolus. According to this assessment, frogs are close to the bottom of the oxygen-breathing food chain because of the comparatively small internal volume of their lungs, which are unable to handle nearly as much air as the lungs of reptiles and mammals. Fortunately, amphibians can also barely meet their metabolic needs by absorbing a small amount of oxygen through their damp, porous skin. 9. Amphibians have cold-blooded similar to reptiles. It should come as no surprise that frogs have strictly ectothermic metabolisms. They heat up and cool down in response to the ambient temperature of their surroundings. Warm-blooded metabolisms are typically linked with more advanced species. The good news is that warm-blooded animals need to consume considerably more food to keep their internal body temperature stable, but the bad news is that amphibians have a very small range of environments in which they can survive, a few degrees too hot or cold will cause them to die. 10. Amphibians are some of the most endangered animals in the world. Amphibians are more susceptible to extinction and endangerment than most other animals because of their small size, permeable skins, and reliance on readily accessible bodies of water. It is estimated that half of all amphibian species worldwide are directly threatened by pollution, habitat destruction, invasive species, and even the thinning of the ozone layer. The chytrid fungus, which some experts claim is connected to global warming and has been annihilating amphibian species all over the world, is possibly the biggest threat to frogs, salamanders, and caecilians. That's for now. 
We appreciate you being here. View more our channel videos.